All right, welcome back. So I wanted to go ahead and cover the uh, Kai Wheats KBA01 uh, boroscope. Got the articulating head here, and um, just want you to—I want you to know—be careful with this this articulating head, as you see. You roll this little knob here, and it just articulates. Be careful with it, cause there's a really thin, basically plastic line that runs through this whole cable and if you basically put any you know a little bit too much torque on it you could essentially wind up um you know with a non-articulating boroscope it'll still work fine do it do the job but it just won't articulate so just want to go ahead and let you know that what i'm trying to do today i'm trying to do now is i want to verify this drain line this um is okay it's properly draining because getting a couple return call um, one of our guys was out here last yesterday and yeah, it looks good to me yeah, it's clear Very nice. And what you want to do, um, you hit the M M button here. That takes it to video. Now I hit this here button. And that goes. That's going to go ahead and start recording. So yeah, the drain is clear. Looks good. So I just want to make sure everything is draining fine. Once again, careful with the articulating head. There it goes. And we'll go ahead and stop our recording just by hitting that button again. See, like I was saying, we just had a little bit of a drain issue here. But yeah, this is a really good camera. It's really nice. Like I said, it's articulates, got a nice light, LED screen. One thing that I'm not really a fan of, you only get to temperature in Celsius. Doesn't show in Fahrenheit, but I mean comes with the internal storage uh, you can well an SD card comes with an SD card USB-C transferring your files it's really powerful I like it all right let me know what you think in the comments below so I just want to um, review a quick uh, do a quick video review here how to know if you have a failed um, compressor compressors not pumping properly and uh, how to tell the difference between that and uh, Basically like a uh, uh, oversized metering device or a TXV that's failed open uh, all the way So if you see here if you look at our superheat, you got zero superheat really low suction line temperature and um, Suction saturation really off the charts 57 degrees Look at our temperature split 11 degree temp split um, Low liquid line temperature low sub cooling and low head pressure so um, what I'm gonna go ahead and do usually I would think okay this system actually is using a piston so I think maybe they forgot to put the piston in I'm not sure you know whatever but let's see what measure quick has to say so They've got that as an option, insufficient to fail compressor. So what I'm gonna do to verify that, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna go ahead and pump the compressor, try to pump it down and see what we get. So I've got my here multi-tool that I like to use. Let's see what, let's see here. And it should pump down. If it doesn't pump down, then he knows the compressor. We're going all the way. It 
doesn't sound like it's made much of a difference, much of a change in um, strain on the compressor itself. As you can see how slow these um, pressures are moving, it should be pumping down way faster than this. It's not doing much of anything. Yeah, we should have already been down to zero. I can hear a slight whining of the compressor, slight pinging there. I can hear it pinging along. Let's see if it pumps down. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it wants to go any below, any any lower than you know, around 130. So yeah, this compressor has definitely failed. It's just not pumping anymore. It's very very slowly creeping down, and it's starting to actually. Yeah, I think we're stuck at about 127 PSI. Yep. So yeah, that's a failed compressor. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let the customer know. And Yeah, still 127. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any comments or even any other ways that you guys check fail compressors because I'm always interested in learning new ways um, to diagnose fail compressor because it's one of those uh, sometimes it could be a head scratcher you know sometimes I'm not really that confident on the compressor diagnosis so let me know in the comments below if you think and um, we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching